Hello and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Today, for the first time ever, we are exploring an equestrian estate and the most premier equestrian estate for a number of years right here in South Africa, Saddlebrook Estate. Behind me, a six bedroom, 7.5 bathroom, five garage mansion built for purpose that we're gonna be exploring for 12 million 500,000 Rand. My name is Chad Bavaris. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. Coming through your double doors, you find yourself in a grand entryway, a staircase running off to my left, all of it clad in wrought iron. And this staircase brings you to the second level. Four bedrooms located on the second level and any grand entryway needs to have a chandelier. And this one, we've got another wrought iron chandelier dangling above us. Really nice feeling walking into this house. Very eerie, very spacious. And so spacious, in fact, we're gonna have trouble starting off here. So what I think we do is let's lead off to the left. But before we do, let's talk about this entry hall. Massive one leading all the way across in front of me, double doors leading out onto your patio, and in front of your patio, a spectacular blue pool. So much space here for you to design this how you will. And another very cool feature, in my opinion, is just up here, you've got a balcony, again, clad in wrought iron with some gold filigree around it. So when you're upstairs, you can look down onto your entry hall area, onto basically whatever you'd like to make this, a lounge, sitting room, maybe even a smoke room if you're into that, leading off into that patio. But let's go off to the left because there's a couple of key features here that are so cool. We've swapped the light towel for these deeper, dark, warm ones, but these double doors, if we close them off from here, all the way to the back can be a fully sealed, self-contained area of the home. So if you've got guests visiting, or if you'd like to use, use this as a guest wing, you can. Fireplace, lounge area that is absolutely massive. Doors leading out onto the front of the house where we came in. Doors on my right-hand side leading off onto that patio area. Windows all across this wall and this wall letting in so much natural light. And then we've got this crazy crystal chandelier hanging down there, really giving this room the spark and oomph a home of this caliber requires. Another one of my favorite features are fireplaces here. We've got a feature wall, this dark flagstone, natural wood fireplace, beautifully sealed off, but still servicing this whole room that's currently set up as a lounge area. But now that we've covered this lounge, let's head off down this passageway and we can see what else this guest wing contains. Now, as soon as we come in here, you're greeted by a living area. Again, slightly smaller than the lounge area. So if you don't want such a large guest wing, we can close this door, leave the lounge servicing the main household. And this can be the lounge area, pajama lounge, living area for this guest wing. Just off the living area, you've got your very own kitchenette. It's got space for one under counter appliance, plenty of under counter storage, your single sink, as well as cupboards above. To you store some cups, some plates, really, really nicely thought out. Coming out of your kitchenette, on your left hand side immediately is the first bedroom, beautifully sized, has stunning windows letting in all that natural light and it does have built in cupboards, so it makes the perfect bedroom. Coming out of your bedroom immediately to your right, you've got your library area, this time no built in cupboards, but built in shelves, beautifully spacious again, makes a perfect library or even office space if you wouldn't like to use this as a wing. Coming out of your library, you've then got your bathroom, walk-in shower, single vanity, toilet located right there and right next to that some cupboard space. So this wing here does su suit its purpose and that is to be fully enclosed, to have guests over, to have family over and to give them the privacy that they need. So I love that they've included that in the household. Now coming out of that fully enclosed guest, guest wing, we pass through this entry hall once again and then another set of double doors leading us into the majority of the living areas. On my left hand side you've got your dining room area absolutely massively wrong. You can see how easily this 10-seater dining room table fits. We've got some chandeliers, beautiful copper chandeliers dangling from the ceiling, matching the equestrian estate vibe. I love that it's got a bit of a country house vibe and it feels so warm and inviting. Again, another fireplace on my right-hand side, so many windows leading out onto the veranda. And here in front of me, we've got your kitchen area. Again, large, spacious, beautifully equipped for people who love entertaining guests. It's a beautiful wrought iron chandelier above me dangling, letting in a lot of artificial light. But then 
all the natural light coming from the skylight. I love skylights in kitchens. I think you spend so much of your time here that that natural light really does make such a difference. Then when we're talking equipment, we've got this beautiful freestanding gas hob as well as oven. So much counter space for pretty much all of your needs here. Under counter storage here for fridge, whatever you might like. Over counter storage, again, all in that farm style vibe. Prep sink, but once again, farm style prep sink this time with a faucet that has that pull out feature really really like that feature when we're talking about built-in hardware yeah we have your very own built-in coffee machine microwave over here space for another microwave all this over counter storage and then if you really are massively into cooking and entertaining you've got another built-in gas hob here as well as electric one right there so you know no matter what meal you might be whipping up this kitchen has definitely got you covered behind me the scullery area space for your fridge under counter storage larger dish area and then you can get led down outside to the front of the house or into your four car garage the access is right there down a flight of stairs then coming this way we come to the first bedroom located downstairs built in cupboard space very, very spacious for a guest wing, but I also think this would make a perfect office or even library area moving on through the house. Those can be turned to shelves, ensuite bathroom, this time with a bath, as well as your freestanding toilet and walk-in shower. So it really is a fully equipped bathroom. Then coming into this room, one of my favorite rooms, your games room, bathroom right off there, shower, toilet, basin, door right over there leading out onto your grounds, taking a peek through that door, the incredible grounds surrounding this house. I love it. And who doesn't like a games area? And that games area is just off your bar area. Now this bar area has got plantation shutters on both sides, letting in light or giving you the privacy if you need it, blocking that wind. Beautifully equipped leather couches, fireplace over there. And then this stunning marble clad bar. Again, some, uh, some more of those design choices, that farm style, country style design choices. All of the display cabinetry, places for your wine, one of my favorite things, and places for you to really just enjoy some time out, some relaxing time with your friends. Because in front of me is your outside area, is your veranda, is your patio, and it is that incredible pool. Coming out onto this patio, you get to really enjoy the grounds that Saddlebrook has to offer. Fire pit right over there massive expanse of back garden you've got this beautiful blue pool railing leading down into it room flow pool or at least those pools that flood over it really does make it look like it's part of your outside area all of these flagstones sealed against the weather and then over here your actual patio even nicer space for not only a dining room table but couch set built-in fireplace and then both under counter storages being frosted glass and really fitting the theme of this house. Above it, you've got space for a built-in TV with all the plug points necessary and stunning down lighting built into the ceiling. But this does bring us straight back around into this reception area, into your entry hall. Now, now this entry hall does have one feature that I didn't speak about before, and that is your guest bathroom just off to the left-hand side or the right-hand side. If you come from those double doors, you'll find your guest bathroom, toilet, single vanity, beautifully equipped for what it is, and that is a guest bathroom. But now it's time to take this wrought iron railing upstairs and take a look at the bedrooms of a house right here in Saddlebrook. We've never done this before. So many cool features being up here. One, the absolute breadth and width of the staircase is incredible, but you've got these beautiful frosted glass letting in so much natural light throughout the house. I love it when houses incorporate proper natural light that still do take in mind the privacy of homes like this. You do want to have some privacy. You want to be able to walk around your house and feel like you don't have prying eyes and those frosted glass windows do the job perfectly. Off to my left hand side, you have one cool section of bedroom, but let's start right over here. I think this is the better place to start. We're gonna go through this door. If we talk security, all of the bedrooms have these really sturdy wrought iron gates, but you are in a question estate. All of it is boomed off security seals. You have security patrols. It's really not a concern, but for that extra peace of mind, this house has got you covered. And here we are, the first bedroom located upstairs. This makes a perfect guest bedroom. You've got your very own balcony looking out onto stunning, stunning grounds as well as that water feature right there in the parkade area. A four poster bed fits in this house, or should I say in this bedroom so easily. It's incredible. If you want to feel like a prince or princess, this is exactly where you want to be sitting. Now, this bedroom also has a beautiful fireplace built in 
right next to the bedroom. Can you imagine that crackling away on a cold winter night in this bedroom? I love how cozy it feels, natural light coming through there. The balcony as well as the bedroom. Right over here, you've got your walk-in closet door, giving that privacy, sealing it off from the rest of the room. Plenty of cupboard space in there. And right in front of me, we can explore the ensuite bathroom. Walking into your guest bathroom again, the sense of grandeur continues. You've got a bathtub sunken in, flanked by three full windows looking out onto the front of your house. On your left hand side, your toilet with its very own door. So if you do want privacy, you've got it. And then a walk-in shower that again is flanked by glass, beautifully thought out and really so many amenities in this guest bedroom that it is incredible. Now with the guest wing of the house out of the way, it's time to explore what the rest of this home has to offer in terms of bedrooms. Again, another two security gates sealing this part of the house off completely from the rest. Here we are in, I'd say a self-contained pajama room, living area. We've got a balcony out there that we can explore in a moment, but we've got all the space, throw a TV on the wall there, already got a TV there, two stunning armchairs right next to a window looking out to the back of the house. But there are two bedrooms located in this area, so if you've got children, they can come through here, play, relax, and not bother you. But right over here is one bedroom, over there is another, let's take a look. Looking into your first bedroom, it comes quite generously equipped. You've got built-in cupboard space, lots of light flooding through not only the balcony that is shared with the other bedroom, but also through two windows. Then you've got your ensuite bathroom with a built-in shower, single vanity, and then toilet. Moving across to the second bedroom, this time no built-in cupboards unfortunately, but you do have built-in shelving. Again, that shared balcony, so much light coming through those windows. And you have your ensuite bathroom, this time no shower, but a corner bathroom tub, single vanity, and built-in sink. Again, perfectly equipped as well as spaced for two small children or even a study or workout room. Now we are back right here in this lounge area, walking across it, coming through these two doors. And you know, whenever we see two beautiful doors opening like this, you know, we're in the creme de la creme, the master suite. And nothing tells you master suite like walk-in closet, beautiful redwood cupboard doors all the way around, chrome inserts for handles, and then we walk straight into a bathroom. I love how this is being laid out. Bathtub and jacuzzi bathtub. This is filled to the brim with faucets, jets, massage areas, absolutely incredible. Above it, bulkhead ceiling. To my left, we've got your double vanity, really nice marble inset here, under counter storage, and this bathtub is in front of these two doors that swing outwards and give you an unparalleled view of where we are, and that is right here in Kalami. Behind me, shower area here, walk-in shower. We've got these glass bricks, frosted, well, not frosted, but I'd say designed for privacy, but still lets in all that natural light. Toilet over here, privacy door that you can close, frosted glass windows. Then, if we move off this way, we find ourselves in the bedroom area. Wall for the TV, space for the massive bed. Two windows right there looking out onto your back garden in that stunning blue pool, but plenty of space in this master suite and an incredible master suite I think this is. Now I think it's time for us to go take a look at that balcony, talk about this house and how you could become its next owner. And there we have it folks, we've wrapped up this incredible home right here in Saddlebrook Estate. It is retailing for 12 and a half million rand, an absolute steal in an area like this, a stone's throw away from Stain City, Danefern, Fourways, and even Mall of Africa. But if you'd like to become this home's new owner, what I'd like you to do is contact Jackie from Jarvitz Midrand. She will schedule a viewing for you at your earliest convenience. But from myself, Chad Rivera, the team at Private Property and everybody that makes the show come alive, we'd like to thank you for tuning in as often as you do every Monday and Friday at 8 p.m. We will see you again soon. God bless and goodbye.